So some of you may have seen some of my other videos where I will make a clearance and I'll talk through the shots as I go and hopefully those are informative and uh, they look for, sort of fairly straightforward but I can assure you that when I film those they're not straightforward at all. I, I will film that and I will film several takes before I get a clearance that I'm happy with and I'm not that great a player. I certainly don't clear the table every time I come to the table um, and I'll make lots of mistakes along the way. And that's what I want this video to be about. And that's learning from your mistakes. So if you miss a pot, or if you don't get the position you were trying to get, then it's important that you try and analyze why that happened. Um, don't just blame it on something else. Invariably, you will have made a mistake of some kind. And you need to try and learn from that, correct it, so that you don't make the same mistake again, and that you improve as a player not always the easiest thing to do but you need to at least try to do that so I'm going to try and play a game here and just an open game I'm not going to get into tactics and whatever fairly loose game um, so invariably I'll make a mistake I may even make um, a deliberate mistake um, to highlight a point but we'll see what happens I'm recording this as I go so um, apologies if, if it's a bit rough around the edges but we'll we'll see what happens So nothing potted off the break. Fairly open table. I'm not going to spend too long sort of analysing too much. I'm going to sort of um, go for our shots here and, and see what happens. So let's um, we'll take sort of one of the easier first shots. So let's go for, let's go for yellows. We'll take this yellow down to the corner here. The tangent line is heading here just towards the black. So we want to come back from that tangent line just a little bit into this area to leave ourselves on that yellow to the corner. Now, fairly successful. Made the pot and came into the area we wanted, but just traveled a little bit further. Wanted to be around here, so it was fairly straight. So you can see, not far out at all. But it's still a mistake to a degree, um, so if you want to analyze that and think, well, why did that do that? It's, that's just a, a matter of judging the pace. You traveled a little bit too far. Judging pace is difficult and not something you should beat yourself up about too much. Um, it takes a lot, long time. You get a feel for the pace, and pace is different on different tables and different cloths anyway, um, and particularly on your first couple of shots. It might take you a little while to get a feel for that, so don't worry about it too much. Um, it's just something that you will get experience of over time. Um, so now because we are not quite straight on that ball, the pot is here and the tangent line is coming in this way towards this ball. So we can either try and travel forward from that. Um, and it might be a good opportunity if we can get, if we can get forward from the tangent line into this area and come back into this gap, then we might be on this ball back across that way because it's a little bit tied up at the moment. So let's let's try and do that. If we don't quite make it far enough, we might be on the other ball as well. Now, you notice I've sort of got where I was talking about. But not, not really. I was talking about coming through here and being over there. So why have we gone this way? Now, I talked about using topspin to come forward from the tangent line, you know, to come down into here. But, ac but actually what I didn't allow for, and this is quite a common mistake, you sort of plan what you're doing. And then when you get down to the shot, as I got down to that shot, I noticed that it was more of a cut than I realized. And when you're playing more of a cut, the ball travels along the tangent line further before any spin starts to come into effect. So what happened is the ball traveled along the tangent line this way. So by the time the top spin came in, it was sort of too late. So the angle was too wide and it's come around that side. So sometimes um, 
you need to reassess. When I got down to that shot and realized that, I should have stood up and worked out those angles again. So my mistake there is not going back and checking that what I was trying to do was correct, which is why I've ended up with a different result. All right, so we could still try and go that way onto that one, but then we're running into this red. Um, probably be easier to take this yellow that way. And then the tangent line is here and come forward from the tangent line, which we should be able to do a bit better here because we are straighter and then back up for the yellow that we talked about doing before. Now, again, it's just a slight misjudgment. Nearly went where I wanted to, which is when I wanted to stop on the black. And you can see we've come just behind it. So again, we've not quite got enough top spin. And sort of two ways of looking at that is, you know, it's a, a minimal mistake in terms of you know, what I've tried to execute. I've got very close to what I was trying to execute. Probably the bigger mistake there is trying to do something um, quite specific. Trying to get a ball into uh, you know, an area where if it goes wrong, you're in trouble. It's not always the best thing to do. If you can find a way of playing a shot which gives you more chance of success, then that's better. You know, I may have even been better trying to play it back over to here somewhere where at least I could have had the shot on the yellow. Um, you know, by playing it the way I did, if I went too far, I was always going to be in a bit of trouble because there's none of these balls on. So sometimes it's that choice of shot that can be the problem. So now I am snookered on all of my balls. So um, see if we can get out of that snooker. Um, let's play. We call that a total snooker so we don't have to hit cushion afters. We can play this with some right hand side. Come off the bottom cushion and into the yellow that way. Right, so now with a red player. So let's try and drop this red to this middle pocket, and then we'll leave ourselves on the ball to the, to the middle. So we're going to run into the cushion and back out again. That's worked out nicely. We'll drop this first one in, and we're going to roll forward to be on the next one. Now, tangent lines there, and we're going to roll forward. So we may run into that ball there, but that's OK, because that, that will stop us before going too far. We should actually travel forward from there anyway. So that's OK. Now, um, if we pop this one to the middle, our tangent line is taking us this way. So we could come back from the tangent line to try and be on this ball to the corner. We don't want to go that side too much, but we've got to think about how we're getting onto these balls as well. So. Um, It may be easier to travel down this way and play this red back up to the middle so that we can travel in this way to get onto those balls. So I'm going to go forward from the tangent line instead, down over here and over to this area. So now that means that we're nicely just below the red so that we can play the red to the middle and then be traveling in this direction for these balls. So tangent line is this way, travel forward from that. We don't want to go too high, we don't want to be dead straight on that because then we're the wrong way, we want to be sort of around here. And again here, not travelled far enough. So again, that's a, a misjudgment of pace. Um, 
as I said, I've talked about that earlier, so I won't go into too much detail, but judging pace is difficult, but needed to put more into that. It's just a case of me not traveling far enough. I was going along the right line, but needed to be another four or five inches. So we're still on the ball, so we're, we're, we're sort of okay. We can, take, we can take this in the middle here, tangent line comes this way. So if we can travel along the tangent line and back out, we can have a shot on this red across here. So let's try this, try that. Now, traveled along the tangent line, but we've missed the pot. So why did I miss the pot there? Now, it could be that I've not lined it up properly. And it might be a combination of that plus something else. And the fact that it's gone to this side of the pocket tells me that it's probably more to do with the fact that I've not allowed for the, any throw on the ball. Because I was cutting that ball in there, although I may have been aiming here, because I've cut, I cut the ball, when you cut the ball, the cue ball just throws the object ball slightly forward from that line. It's just taken it towards this jaw, and that's why it's missed it. So that's a case of me not allowing for any throw on the ball. When I lined that up, I should have been aiming, rather than to the heart of the pocket, I should have been aiming slightly more this way to allow for any throw effect. So the fact, when you, when you travel past the pocket like that, that gives you a, an indicator that, that you've probably not allowed for the throw on the ball. So now we're back in his yellow. Let's take this and roll forward slightly to be either on the middle or the one to, the, to that middle. We can sort of decide on that, the better angle we get afterwards. So we are pretty much dead straight on both of them. Now, if you take this one, then how do we get onto this one? We could screw back. But if we don't get that right, getting down there is difficult. If we take this one, it's easier to get onto this ball, and it should then be easier to travel in this direction onto that yellow. So the better order there is to take this one first. All we're trying to do is get back to almost the same spot. So a bit of screw back, but not, we're not trying to screw back to here. If we go a little bit far, too far, it's not too bad. So we're just trying to screw back a few inches, so not right at the bottom of the ball. And just about enough. Now, would have been better, again, it's a pace thing, very hard, very hard to be exact. Um, would have been better straight, would have been okay this side. But even this side, we're still leaving ourselves on a shot to the yellow there, so it's not a problem. We just need to make sure that we come off the cushion a little bit so that we're not queuing right off the cushion. So we learned from over here earlier, we're cutting this slightly to the middle. So we're naturally going to throw the ball slightly towards this jaw here. And we don't, if you catch those in the middle, then you miss the pot. So rather than aiming right at the heart there, where there's a danger of catching that anyway, just aiming just a fraction wider, not tons, just a little bit, so that if there is any throw, we still end up in the pocket. Yeah, you can see there, even though I was aiming slightly wider, the ball still went into the middle of the pocket. And we've learned that from the previous miss. So now, a couple of options. Either we can pot this tangent line is this way and we'd roll slightly forward and we leave ourselves a shot to the middle. Or with the tangent line going this way, we come down slightly forward from the tangent line down into this cushion and back up this way. <laughs> Would have been a foul there, touched that with my hand. Um, so um, that comes down to choice. Personally, you've got to travel further this way. So your chances of getting, you know, coming up short, or going too far are, are a little higher. If you let it roll down here, you know, we can be a little bit out and should still be on that shot. So it's probably easier to play it 
gentle and lead the shot back to the middle. So you can see we've travelled a little bit further, but it's still quite quite makeable. If we'd if we'd have done it the other one trying to come further and end up here, it's a lot harder. So now again, thinking about what we learned earlier, it's not quite as fine a cut. So we're not going to adjust it massively, but just a little bit. So rather than aiming to here where we might catch that jaw, just aiming a little bit further there. If we're playing it softly, it's got more chance of dropping in. And you can see there as well, you know, the pace, even though it went wide, at that pace it drops in. Um, if you played that hard, it wouldn't have done. So you can see several mistakes there that I've made. Um, one that I'm not sure that came up, and, and like I said there, you know, hitting, hitting balls hard towards middle pockets. Um, you know, if I, if I aim that, even if I'm just off straight, if I aim that towards the middle of the pocket there, and we catch that jaw, and it's fast, even if, you, even if you're on target, that ball's not going to go in there because it's going to bounce off that hard wood and come back out. I was aiming perfectly towards the middle of the pocket, but it's not going to happen. So uh, pace is something you also need to be aware of. It might be a reason that you miss a shot. So as I've said, um, we all miss shots all the time. I miss plenty of shots, and I still try whenever possible to try and work out why I've missed that. You can't always do it. But it's important that you at least try to. Staying down on your shot, looking at things, looking at where things end up, and saying to yourself, why did that happen, will make you a better player anyway, because you will spend longer planning your shots um, and thinking about what you're doing. Um, and hopefully those little mistakes that you've made in the past will pop up and you think, I, I remember when that went wrong, and you'll learn from it and you won't repeat that mistake again. <laughs>if you want to see more practice routines and pool tutorials then please remember to subscribe and if you're interested in any of the equipment i use in this video then there are links in the description below